How's it going, Vakiotos? Welcome to the Modern Warfare 3 beta. It is finally time to get those Movement Kings back in action and working again. And I gotta say, I'm pleasantly surprised by how the game feels. I will say, the slide canceling feels a little bit odd. There is a delay after you slide. Not sure if that's a bug or not, but feels kind of bad. I don't really like it. I like that you can slide cancel, but anyway, I just wanted to get into the shotguns real quick, and I want to offer some tips because overall, these shotguns at the moment, or specifically the Lockwood 680, which is like the Model 680, has some pretty bad range and it is a little bit of a pea shooter at the start when you're trying to get used to it. If you're coming from Modern Warfare 2 where you're expecting the Bryson 800 and 890 to be like shredding people at ranges, this gun is not going to feel like that. This feels very much so kind of how like how they did in X Defiant. If you got to play X Defiant, these feel extremely similar. Specifically the Lockwood, again, the pump action feels very similar to how it does in X Defiant. That's the closest thing I can compare it to. In terms of performance, I feel like it's one shot kill range is like close to that eight meter range it feels like eight to ten that's just kind of an arbitrary number that i feel like it is but honestly it's not very consistent when it comes to it unless you're aiming down sights but the reason i wanted to bring this video up to your attention is because we have a new mechanic known as tax stance and if you didn't know this is sort of a hybrid between aiming down sights and fully hip fire right this is sort of in between and the thing is for shotguns this is actually a pretty damn useful thing to have especially when you don't have attachments on this gun but it is actually really useful because it essentially gives you another type of spread to work with. You either have normally hip fire or aim down sight spread, which is really tight. Now you have an in-between where it's not super tight, but it is more condensed. And this makes it a lot more feasible to hit certain shots at certain ranges and get your one-shot kills a lot easier. Now, another awesome thing about tack stance is it increases your aim walking speed. So when you strafe left to right while you're aiming with it, you will be faster than if you're fully aiming down sights. And also it actually zooms in and basically narrows your pellet spread a lot quicker than if you were fully aiming down sights so again like i said for especially for the base gun definitely give tax stance a try this thing is actually a lot of fun when i started to kind of utilize it a little bit more basically when you aim down sights it'll give you the option or at least for me on playstation to press down on the d-pad and that'll sort of initiate your tax stance and as you can see from the pictures again it's not super tight but it's also not super wide it's just in between and i actually like this feature a lot on the shotguns because again Again, it sort of adds more versatility to the shotgun itself. Now you don't have just basically like this binary, it's super tight or really wide type of spread. There's an in-between, and I feel like that's super cool. And out of all the guns that are going to be utilizing tax stance, I feel like off the bat, shotguns definitely have the most potential to be like kind of working with tax stance in a very good way. And I've been pleasantly surprised by how good it feels. Right now in the beta, there doesn't seem to be any sort of choke attachments, nothing to really narrow your spread. But there are some attachments to narrow your tax stance spread, which is actually pretty useful. And some of them, I think, increase your aim down sight speed, which is really good. But just know when you're going into the beta, the Lockwood, the pump action, not the Lockwood like 300, the double barrel, but in this game, the 680, a little lackluster at first. Even with some attachments, it's still going to feel kind of wonky. You're going to have to get good with your movement. You're not going to get a lot of one-shot kills initially, but I'm telling you guys, try tax stance out. Now, as far as the other shotgun, the Riveter, it seems to be a lot better. And there's also some cool attachments I'll show you in another video. It does have slugs and some other quirky attachments, and there's even a, a bolo round, which is really interesting. But I'll get into that in another video. I just wanted to share with you guys my quick thoughts thoughts on the shotguns initially. I'll have another video on them a little bit more in depth and go over attachments and also share with you guys the secret to this shotgun, which in my opinion is tax stance. It's a really useful tool for this. So that's basically going to do it. It's just a quick little update video I want to share with you guys and so you guys can go into the game, try it out. Again, don't be upset if you're dying a lot with this thing. There's a lot of really good guns in this game and the shotgun, it's strong in certain regards, but it's also not amazing and it's also not bad. It's just kind of mediocre right now, but we got to unlock attachments. There's probably more to come. So don't feel too bad if you're not doing super well. I did drop a 50 bomb with this thing, which was pretty sick. And I'm getting my movement down, getting back into it. So with all that being said, guys, let me know down below in the comments. If you've played the beta, what are your thoughts on it so far? Are you liking the slide canceling? Are you liking the movement? How are you guys liking these shotguns, the Riveter and the Lockwood 680? And with all that being said, guys, I will see you in the next video. Enemy is taking Bravo.